Hey guys, it's Katie with S&B, and today we're going to install our cold air intake on a 13 to 18 6.7 liter Cummins. So let's get started. Disconnect the two harnesses from the sensors. Remove this bolt that's securing the front of the air box to the vehicle. We're going to move this clamp so we're able to disconnect the two hoses. So now you're going to loosen the hose clamp at the top of the air box and at the turbo and then the whole assembly should come out. Now that everything's loose, you should be able to remove the stock intake tube followed by the air box. Before you can fully remove the air box from the vehicle, you're going to have to disconnect this harness and then using a panel popper, remove it from this push-in clip. So now you're going to transfer the sensors from the stock air box to the SMB intake tube. Install the gaskets onto the sensors and then install on the SMB intake tube using the provided hardware. Before you can fully remove the active air motor from the stock air box, you're going to have to remove the lid and then the stock air filter so you can grab the butterfly valve. Next, we're going to remove the active air motor from the stock air box. So hold the butterfly valve and the active air motor at the same time. You're going to need quite a bit of force to get it off. So when installing the active air motor onto the SMB air box, you're going to first install a spacer, a motor, washer, and a screw. Now we're going to secure the dam onto the swing gate arm before we install it into the air box. Once you have the dam fully secured onto the swing gate arm, we're going to put it aside. It is a little bit finicky, so we're just going to do all the other silicone pieces first. Install the silicone tube seal. You'll notice that there is a mark here, and here you'll just want to line those up. Next, install the side inlet. Now you can install the front inlet. And note that this one also has a marking, so you'll just want to line that up. <laughs> So when installing the swing gate into the air box onto the swing gate motor, you're going to want to make sure that this flat side is lined up with the flat side on the motor shaft and then push it all the way down. So now you're going to prep the intake tube for install, so you're just going to install the coupler and the hose clamps and then this hose and the hose clamps. So now we're going to install the tube through the tube seal into the air box and then we'll connect an extension harness to the active air motor.
After you plug the extension harness into the active air motor, you're just going to plug it into the other side as you install the intake system. Another thing to look out for before installing the air box are these grommets. You're going to want to make sure that they stayed in the vehicle. If they didn't, you'll just want to remove them from the stock air box and reinstall them because you're going to install these prongs into them. So once you have the air box fully seated in the prongs and the coupler fully on the turbo, you're going to tighten down the hose clamps, reinstall this hose and reconnect the sensors. Secure the air box using the provided hardware and then we're going to install the air filter. So when installing the air filter into the air box, you're going to want to make sure that the SMB logo is at the top and that the air filter is not touching the swing gate. and then tighten down the hose clamp. Peel the protective layer off of both sides of the clear lid and then install it into the lid seal. Now install it onto the air box. Alright guys, so that is it. It is a super easy install, but if you have any questions or you just want to know more, you can always check it out on our website or give us a call and I'll see you next time.